A bill designed to give crime victims more rights cleared a major legislative hurdle today. ABC 36's Kelsey Thorne is live in Frankfurt where the Senate passed Senate Bill 3 earlier this afternoon. That's right, Tom. Like you said, the Senate passed Senate Bill 3, also known as Marcy's Law, and this is actually the first bill the Senate has passed this session. And not only did it pass, it passed with bipartisan support, and it only had one no vote. Now, the bill looks to give victims of a crime more rights and standing during their offender's judicial process, including the right to voice their opinions, the right to be present at hearings, and the right to be made aware of any upcoming hearing or changes in their offender status. Now, more than 30 other states in the country have already passed some variation of this bill. And Senator Whitney Westerfield, the sponsor of the bill, says he's excited Kentucky is finally taking steps to join those states. Crime victims deserve to have a part of the process, uh, a meaningful voice in the process, and today they don't have it. Uh, that we have some puny, sort of meaningless statutory rights for crime victims, but no mechanism to assert those rights, no recourse for a violation of those rights. Our position, though, and our concern is that Marcy's Law does not do that. It does not offer any real reform. Uh, rather, it seeks to create an awful lot of confusion and disarray in a system that already is working with too few resources and too few bodies to do the jobs that need to be done. Now, you just heard from an attorney with the ACLU of Kentucky. They, along with the Kentucky Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers, uh, defense lawyers, excuse me, came up against Marcy's Law today, saying it would clog up the judicial system and not help victims. But now this bill will go to the House for a vote, and if passed with a majority there, will be on the ballot in November, where Kentuckians get to decide if this will become law or not. Reporting live here in Frankfurt, I'm Kelsey Thorid, ABC 36 News. Thank you.